I wanted to spend some time with you today because this is a time of year that is very, very difficult for our patients. And the staff and our marketing team ask me sometimes to acknowledge Mother's Day and to wish all the mothers happy Mother's Day. And I did not want to spend a lot of time doing that. I, I wanted to talk with those that are having difficulty becoming a mother. At the outset, I did want to say to all of the patients that we've helped, uh, we are overjoyed to have been involved in your journey and, and so happy for you and, and happy Mother's Day to you. Personally and professionally, this, this is a very, very difficult time. I've endured my wife not being a mother for many, many years. And I'll tell you a story. Uh, we would go to church on Mother's Day, obviously praying for a little one. And in the middle of Mass, uh, the priest would ask those mothers to stand. And he gave them a special blessing. And my wife remained seated because she wasn't a mother at that point. And we didn't say a word, we just held each other's hand and the pain went through her to me and back to her. So I never forgot that feeling and I remember the first time we went to church when we had our oldest girl and my, mom, or my wife stood and my mother was actually there at the time and she, it was the first time she stood during Mother's Day. And the feeling that we had was elation, but I also never forgot being on the other side. This is a time of some uh, sadness and regret, uh, possibly. Um, seeing many, many other people celebrate being a mother. Or maybe you've even lost your mother. So this could be a, a, a number of, of emotions and some painful. I would encourage you to acknowledge that and to spend time this Sunday, Mother's Day, on things that give you hope, encouragement, joy, and avoid situations that make you uncomfortable. Certainly acknowledge your mother if she is still with us, but also it's a time to celebrate your relationship if you're in one, to celebrate your persistence and your tenacity and your determination to be a mother, to celebrate your journey, and to realize that you're not defined by being a mother. You are the person that you are, and that's what defines you. So this is something that we know is a challenge. And I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, I feel all of your pain. I have never forgotten what it was like for my wife to not be a mother, nor for me to not be a father. So if you're having a struggle with this, uh, we have a reproductive health counselor here, Dr. Judy Burnett, or you can talk with us. But I think it's a time to, to, to pause evaluate where you are in your life, where you want to be, and have the feeling of determination, empowerment, and plan and ambition to have the cautious optimism to move ahead and to achieve your goals. And if it's not the goal that you originally wanted, then adjust accordingly to still find that fulfillment and still find that hope uh, and joy that, that will help you through your life. And I pray to God, you all who are not will soon to be mothers. So this is a brief video to express to you all that we understand that if you're not a mother, that this is a difficult time for you. But we are here for you. Once again, those that are mothers, uh, particularly those that we've assisted, we are overjoyed for you. And those that are not, we are doing everything we can to help you and we wish you peace and, uh, and love on that day and for the rest of your days. So have a good week and as best a weekend as you can make it. And we're here for you. Take care.